Hola, tis I, Alicia. How are you? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're not uh, eating your neighbors or your family or anybody. So, uh, there was that article that came out, and I believe it was in the New York Times, talking about, you know, the new cool trend or not. Weird. You know, that one. I don't even know if I can say that word. You know, that one about, you know, noshing on somebody you know maybe you don't know just somebody just taking a bite out of somebody so why why are we bringing it up why are we talking about this where you know why 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 you have to ask yourself all the time why why are these stories coming out i know tinfoil hats ha 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 yeah 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 all right let's switch over and see what we can find out all right why are we going down the Soylent Green lane? Why are we bringing it up? Are we wishes, hopeful that we all start eating each other? Is this something, future things to come? So, why? let's start first. Why did the New York Times write this article about chomp chomping on your neighbors? Or your friends? Or strangers people why did they write this article now about it we want to put this issue in the spotlight which is kind of interesting. Like we want to put this issue into the spotlight. This is an interesting thing because this is not what you would expect to see coming out of that um, um, publication, like let's say that, you wouldn't expect that to see, come out of this publication. This would, this does not feel like anything. This, that feels normal to say like that was in the New York Times, right? This is like, there's, they're seeing something in a new light. It's almost <laughs> as if whoever's writing it, I don't know if it's a staff writer if it, or what, but whoever's written this, it's almost like their eyes are open and they want to expose this as like this is being exposed and of course some people are calling like oh that's just a bunch of bs and ta -ta -ta -ta, right that's a tinfoil hat thing right this person who's wrote it is like trying to tell people like i want to put this on display that like, there's some things that we're, we're trying to normalize this and it's not right and so um it's almost like this was my last this is it this is the last thing we could eat bugs, but let's not talk about eating the humans. And so I want to expose their evil plan. <laughs> this is just like somebody, I, <laughs> they've, whoever it is, I don't even know if it's the writer or there's somebody behind it, but whoever it is that got this out there, it's because they've had enough and they're exposing something. They feel like they're exposing something. Okay. Um... Is there some large event that would equate for a larger supply of people to chomp on? Time for a little crystal chit chat. This is Smithsonite. Now, I only have one of these on the shop. Um, but this one is when you're ready to shift your soul into a higher vibration. So it's, it's good if you're looking at it for two ways, like you're ready on your journey, you want to go into a higher vibration, and you want something to help you do that. This is also good if you feel like you're at the end of your rope, you're ready to change your life for the better. Um, and then this is a stone to help you with that task. 
So you're going to work with smithsonite to help boost your intuition, your connection to spirit. And um, all you have to do is hold this during your spiritual practice. And this is going to help release you from your bad thoughts, your bad habits, your all the things that are keeping you from vibrating at a higher spot. Um, so that's what smithsonite is. If you would want this lovely, I swear it looks better in person, then you can go find it at my shop at aliciawicker.com. Is there some reason why we would, you know, we'll have no food, so we'll have to eat people's, right? Is that mean because we're going to, like, there's going to be an extra surplus of people? Is there some big event that would warrant us having to chomp chomp? Okay, if there was, there's not any more. If there was a plan to have us chomp chomping, um, the, the plan was stopped. The plan was stopped. Um, it's almost as if this was a per... Um, the idea of it being cool or it being something that you would have to do in the future. Um, a, it was not, it's not going to happen. That idea was defeated. Like if there was some event that they were planning, it didn't, it's not, not coming to fruition. Um, and they're disappointed. We'll say the Eyes Wide Chuck crew is disappointed by this, that this is not coming up, that they are not going to be doing this it's like um they they were working on this for a long time though but it got delayed um so okay they were working on something it got delayed it got shut down they've been aced out of the hole on this they they cannot bring us into our uh movie uh alive or soylent green realities to life okay um do they have plans to try and do this again in the future like is this like one of their I don't know turn-ons apparently everything they likes weird twisted and odd uh, so is this a turn-on that like we want to do this chomp chomp the buffet at the sizzler of the humans I don't have a lot of time I don't have a lot of body parts sizzler okay this is another thing that they want to retry in the future. Oh, this is related to their climate change. There's too many people. There's too many people. Al Gore was telling us all about it. And we're just trying to save the world. And these people just don't understand. It doesn't look like they're going to be able, they're going to keep trying to yap it out here. It doesn't look like that it goes anywhere that anybody's paying attention to him, listening to him gives, no. Um, it's just another part of their saving the planet. Like there's too many of us um, little ants on here and we're just doing too much damage to the resources. And this is a solution I'm almost wondering if this becomes also something where we've turned it into a marketing thing. Okay, now this is going to sound straight up weird, out of the movies, nutty town. But what I'm getting is that the, you know how when you um, pass that you can, or someone, well not you, you wouldn't be able to do it because you're dead. Uh, when someone dies and you can take their ashes and their cremains and then you can turn them into diamonds, things like that, right? This feels like we might be taking this marketing of using someone's remains a step further into like, oh, consuming them. Like you can turn Aunt Bessie into some jerky. 
that's the most kindest, wonderful thing. And then once you um, f evacuate her out of your system, then you can plant a tree with that. Like this feels like, I know that's all gross and disgusting, but that feels like where we're going next level, nut town, a, a, like a marketing idea. It's like, it's a nut town marketing idea, but I think that's like one of those ideas they wanna push through. It's like, it's a very green thing. What? It's, I don't think any of this is going to catch on though. I'm not seeing that. It's like, they're very depressed. Like none of this shit's catching on, but I think this is like, a, they're thinking, hey, this is a new way to market this. This would be great. Um, and then, I don't know. This, what, what world am I living in? What? Um, are, let me just ask this, are we looking to make, um, remains into a power source? Now you can go down deep dive on all that and go into some side channels of thinking about like, uh, rituals and all that kind of weird stuff. But Let's just take it as like, are we looking at using the humans for power? That says no, no. But I think it's no, no, because that idea was brought into the spotlight. Okay, so there was like, yeah, we had this idea, but it got brought into the spotlight. It's almost like we were doing this under the cover of darkness, like don't be exposing our plans. Now we're on defense, we have to explain this. Okay. Is there, like let's take the uh, cons consuming out of this. Is there a um, mass uh, mass voting off of the island of people? Is there going to be a mass exodus of people going on to the other side, if you get my drift? Is there going to be like some mass exodus, and this is why we're bringing that up now, like some other event, not, not like a external event, but perhaps another event causing a lot of uh, people to pass out, pass on to the other side in mass. I don't know if it's a, like, I think someone, something, some entity, some whatever the hell you want to call it, eyes wide shut, whatever's, um, I think there's some idea here that this was just going to be another part of the plan of how we just move forward. Not that there was some mass I'm not seeing like a mass passing. This, however, looks like this was like, we're looking into the future and this is a plan that we're looking into in the future as a possible solution because, you know, uh, cemeteries take up way too much land and, uh, you know, cremating people, that leaves uh, pollutants out into the um, atmosphere and da da da, this would be the greenest solution of all. Um, but it's basically like this whole idea is like people are going to be like, no, that's bonkers. I'm not going to like eat my grandma beef jerky. I'm not doing that. Um, so, okay. All right. Okay. 
I stop the world. I need to get off. I don't know where I'm going to go. I don't want to go. I don't know where I'm going to go. <laughs> I guess I'm stuck here. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. Please give it a like and I will see you next time. Adios.